so today guys I am going to teach you how to make nice fluffy Jamaican fried dumpling matter of fact I'm going to teach you how to make it two ways we're gonna fry it and we are going to bake it. we are going to use just three ingredients flour baking powder and salt so I have this dough right here I pre mix this last night and I put it in the refrigerator and this is looking very good if you do this then it's gonna be that's how you're gonna get it to be fluffy and nice and if you don't really have time to prep you can also go ahead and use some ice water very important so you if you, when you need it with the ice water so I, I have this ice water that I place in my refrigerator and it's very cold so when you use the ice water that's what that's the ice water that's gonna let it be very fluffy very important so I already have my dough here like I said I pre-mixed it last night and I put it in my refrigerator so this is all prepped and I'm gonna use this to fry my dumpling but I want to show you how I go about it so this is my flour here I have like uh, a quarter pound of flour and I'm gonna go ahead and put like a teaspoon of baking powder So a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm also going to put like a teaspoon of salt. I can just go ahead and eyeball it. So like I said guys, teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to go ahead and start the mixing process. So this is my ice water. And that's what I'm gonna use to mix my flour. So what you want to do is mix your flour around so that you can distribute the um, the salt and the baking powder. So now I'm gonna take my ice water and I'm gonna start the mixing process. What you want to do at this point? You don't want to pour it. You want to tip it. And we are not kneading at this point. We are just mixing. Just like that, gradually. See? We have to make sure that all the flour gets some water before we even start kneading anything. So you see how I'm doing it? I'm just tipping all around on my flour, not kneading, just mixing. So we're going to continue, see, that's how you do it. We don't want to just pour a big amount on it. The next thing you know, your flour is all soppy and spoiled. So, like I said, tip as you go along, gradually. Then you mix around, mix. And like I said, we're going to bake some of it and we are going to fry. I'm showing you both ways. I remember my dad used to bake flour every day. That's his breakfast. He, he does not like the flour to fry. And that's another way to go about it. You don't have to fry all the time you can just bake it and it tastes just like homemade bread in other words using three ingredients just salt baking powder and, and um, the flour no yeast or anything like that so you see guys how this is coming along nicely see it's all saturated with the water and I like how it's feeling right consistency 
and I don't think I need any more water. So now I can start the kneading process. So you can just go ahead and knead now. See? Just knead it because we want to get it to come together nicely. And I think I'm going to use this batch to fry and then I'm going to use this one over here to bake. So you get two in one today. Frying and baking. So my dough is all nice. And as you can see, this is my dough from, from last night. Very soft and together. So now I'm ready for the cooking process. And guys, if in a case you mix in your flour and it too much water, all you gotta do is put some more flour there. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Because I think this one is a little too soft for my liking. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more flour there just to get it together to how I want it. And that's enough. So, so like I said, in a case that you put too much water accidentally, then there's no need to panic. All you got to do, get a little more flour and just put it. See? It's all together. That's all you got to do. Trial and error. So, you see? See how soft and nice this is? It's not hard. This is how you want to get it. this one is also ready all right so we are done with that so we're gonna move on to the cooking process so guys my pot is on the stove here and I have it at medium flame so I'm gonna pour a generous amount of cooking oil in my pot and you can use any oil that you want so you want to be generous guys because you want enough oil that it can cover your dumplings like halfway so i think i'm gonna put a little more so that should be enough so we're gonna let that heat up a little more so guys just take a look look how light this is as a result of using that ice water and also the baking powder help with the process very light same thing over here this is the one that we put in the refrigerator overnight so let's let, let, let the oil heat up a little here so let's go about making our dumpling and you don't have to be neat and fine with your dumpling the point is to just Could be rugged and I think that's the idea also you don't have to be neat and fine so uh, you just break off a piece and you just roll it don't have like I said look at it don't have to be neat you can even make some shapes if you want no problem so I'm just gonna test to see if my oil is ready I think it needs to heat up some more let's just let it heat up a little more and we are getting ready to fry up that dumpling So here we go guys, the flour is here and you just want to roll it and you're just going to drop it in your oil. See, start frying up already. Like I said, don't have to be neat and fine, just break off a small piece, roll it around and put it in your oil. Just like that. 
and you don't want to have your flame high otherwise it's gonna just be crispy on the outside and very raw on the inside so that's why I said turn your flames down turn it down to low you are doing that because you want your dumpling to soak right through not nice and crispy on the outside and raw in the middle you don't want that slow cooking at this point so you see guys and you fry up your dumps jamaican style this is breakfast meal for those of you that you know do not know this is jamaican breakfast you can eat this with fish fry fish uh okay and salt fish vegetables callaloo and all those good things the sky's the limit so we don't want to crowd it too much i think that's enough so i'm just going to take my fork over here and i'm just going to space them out and let it do it let it, let it do its thing so maybe what like three minutes on each side and we are good so flames down so while that is frying up i'm gonna go ahead and focus on the one that I am going to show you how to bake. So my, I have my skillet here. So I'm gonna heat it up. Cause you have to let it be really hot. And while that is heating up, I am going to make my flour that I want to bake. Just gonna show you that's it's a whole different style. So this is my flour. This is my flour. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Because we are, we are not making small dumplings, we are making a big broad dumpling for baking. My dad, like I said, this is my dad's favorite. Oh my God. It's, he used to eat this every morning with his fried fish and a key and salt fish, mackerel, whatever they can find. Oh, you know what? This is very good with avocado pear. So what do you want to do, guys? Just just flat it out as thin as possible so my flame is all my pot is heated so i just turned on the flame because you want to let your dumpling soak also so the idea is to just press it out as thinly as you can and then we're just gonna no oil in that pot the one that we are baking we're not gonna put oil it's just gonna be in the skillet just like that so here we go guys in the skillet and what you want to do take your hand and press it up just like that as thinly as possible no eye okay you're just gonna leave it there and you're gonna get homemade bread no yeast or any of those things just three ingredients your flour your baking powder and your salt that's it that's as, as natural as it can get but there you go guys so we're gonna leave that maybe uh say three four minutes on each side 
So guys, let's turn our dumplings. They're all crispy. And that side, as you can see, you see what we got here? Nice and brown, light, very light. Not heavy at all. So you see, there's a technique to all of this. So we're gonna leave it there for another couple minutes because we want to get all the sides brown with that brown golden brown color and our baked flour is doing very well I think I'm gonna leave it a little more like maybe another two minutes on that side so guys, while our dumpling is all frying up, let's take a look at our baked flour. So, I'm just going to lift it with my fork, and you're going to flip it over. And as you can see, you see how nice that is? So we're going to just turn it over on the other side. And we just then you're gonna take your fork and kind of press on it, and we're gonna leave that there for another three minutes on this side, and we are done. Now let's go ahead and check on our dumpling. As you can see, golden brown, very lightweight. That's how you can tell that there are finish very light you tell that you can tell that it's soaked right through at that point so so what you want to do is try to get the sides that still need to be browned up a little just try to get those sides but they're pretty much done at this point so I'm getting ready to take them out in a few. So I think this side need to brown up a little more. So I'm just going to flip it over and get that side. And while those are finishing up, I'm going to try to put the rest of my flour in. Because we have like three more to go. So, we're just going to drop them in at the side here and let them go ahead while the others are finishing up, finishing up. So there you go guys, as easy as that. So now, so as you can see how brown they are so guys draw close because we are getting ready to take out some of our dumplings so look at this guys take a look nice and brown golden so let's look for another one this is another one which one else because I want all the sides to get some brown color so let's see which one is ready we can go ahead and take this one out it's ready this one is also ready guys we are doing a great job here so like I said they're pretty much finished we are just trying to catch the color on all our sides we can go ahead and remove this one from the oil and we can just go ahead and space these ones out 
I think I'm going to go ahead and take this one out also. Also this one, be careful. So as you can see, guys, look at this. You see how nice and brown those are? Um, in the meantime, I'm going to check on my big flow. I think I need to go some more. And I just pressing it down with my fork here. So we are almost done. So guys, let's go ahead and check on the baked flour. I think it's finished. So as you can see, guys, it is all done. This is your baked dumpling. You see? See how nice that looks? It's very lightweight. See? That's nice homemade I would call it bread I mean it's not light 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 like the bread that you would buy in the store because it does not have the the yeast and all of those things it has more body to it this is very nice with avocado pear try it just try it while that is there, I'm going to check on the rest of my dumplings. I think they are getting there. And just need a few more minutes. So I'm going to give them like, what, two minutes more. Just to brown up. They're very lightweight. And uh, that's how I know that they are done. Soaked through, not raw. On the inside so you can go ahead and maybe turn up the flame a little more just to bring it home help it to catch the color a little faster once it's soak that's it guys all you got to do is let it catch the color on the outside the most important thing is to get it soaked you don't want it to be raw on the inside so guys i'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of my dumplings as you can see they are golden brown all done see how nice they look like a whole ball of goodness and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my flame off we are done and I'm gonna so as you can see guys take a look all done fried dumpling Jamaican fried dumpling all fluffy and nice So as you can see guys we are all done this is our fried dumpling nice and flaky and this is our baked flour it is the closest thing to bread homemade bread so i'm just going to show you what it looks like and i'm just going to break a piece so you see see how nice it is nice and fluffy and you can just go ahead and eat it see it's bread made right on top of your stove in your skillet so I'm just gonna go ahead and try a piece and it's very good very good it's not light 
light bread it has a little more body to it and this is how i like it it's close to hard over it i tell you what this tastes like guys this tastes like this pretzel that you would buy in the mall wet pretzel that's the same texture so try it and like i said you can eat this with avocado pear it's very nice with avocado pear or you can go ahead and eat it with anything you want just like the, the fry flour all right let's try one of her fly fry flour i'm gonna break into one and show you see see how nice and fluffy that is so that's how you go about it guys it's very crispy on the outside nice and fluffy on the inside not hard like rock this is how you want to get it and like i said if this is not like the biscuit that you would get at uh popeyes or kentucky fried chicken it is much dense it's more dense it's not that light and this is like hard dough so, try it. You like it.